Do you know God has a job for each of us? Like washing the dishes? <laughs> Maybe. Each of us has a part to play in God's kingdom. God likes our help. That's right. But he's not going to make us do anything. He simply wants us to get involved by choice. We can all offer our gifts and talents to him. It's a good question to ask ourselves. Am I willing to serve God? Let's talk about that. Cut. There's something special about this place full of crazy characters and imagination run wild. A place where the good news of Jesus spreads out all over the world. Join us as we plan it, film it and wrap it up. year again. Yes, yes, Christmas time. I wonder what you got me. No, no, not that time of year. Valentine's Day. No. Hunger Dan Day. Oh. No, no. It's that time. It's the annual Big HQ thank you party. Yay. This is where everyone gets together to celebrate. I'm thinking this year to mix things up, I need your help serving. I'm amazing at serving. I'm probably better than you. At your service, mon ami. Thank you, kind sir. Yes, I'm thinking it'll be good to go all out this year. You know, great food, entertainment, some fancy drinks, good music. Consider it done, sir. You can rely on us. To the clubhouse! Don't you mean the dressing room? He's not yet a member. What do you think Albert meant by us serving? Isn't it obvious? We're the big HQ big yes. stars. Yeah. He wants us to put on a big show! Yeah, Ooh. yes. So how does this work again, Dan? You see, it's very simple, Nath. If you throw a playing car with the right speed and precision, the velocity turns it into a razor-sharp weapon, which will stick in the watermelon. Huh. Well, what if you miss the watermelon? Well, I guess you won't have the shave then. Ah, oh, great. Uh, so you sure can pull this off, Dan? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Oh! <laughs> Don't worry, it can get much worse than that. Radio, no blood, please. Yeah, it's really important that Jackie, we have it. Jackie, it's going to be amazing. Uh, how's the song going? Amazing Grace. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, needs a little bit of work, but I see potential. I don't know if I want to be a magician's assistant anymore. Nath, think of the glory. Think of the applause. Think of all the watermelon you can eat at the end. I don't even like watermelon. Shh. <sighs> guys, guys. So I was thinking, do you think Albert wants us to serve the guests or to entertain them? I mean, thinking back, he did just ask us to serve. What do you think? Nah. nah. Hello, my miniature human mammal. Hi. It's so good to be back here at church, no? Church. Yes, yes, my friend. I have had a rough week. No. Yes, my friend. On uh, on Monday, I play in sand pit and get sand and shoes. Yuck. Yeah, on Tuesday, I play in mud pit and get mud and shoes. Yuck. And Wednesday, I play in ball pit. Lose shoes completely. No shoe for you. But you are the only one who listened to me. So let me tell to you, number one problem of week. You see, at church we hear that uh, we are to be hands and feet of Jesus. Hands. Yes, my friend. Feet. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. You're like appendages, you know, like, uh, but you can see my problem. Uh, uh, these, these hands are like for display purposes only. And well, I cannot walk, so my feet, ha how am I going to follow Jesus? I'm confused about Jesus. this whole concept. This all I want is to be like you. What was it, my friend? Be like you. Are you telling to me 
uh, that we are like never too young to serve God and even the tiniest people can worship him regardless if they can walk or not? Is that what you are telling to me, my friend? Jesus, you're my superhero. Wow. You're my my, my friend, you once again have given me good theological friend. sound advice. <laughs> Man, I've never been this nervous before. <laughs> well, we practice a lot, so we should be fine. But maybe we should just go over it one more time. Okay. Well, what if I drop the watermelon, Dan? That's the least of your worries, Nathan. Ooh. Go ahead. Yep, right. Hey, Dan, stand by. This is your three-second call. Three, okay. two, go, okay. go, 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 go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, elephants and iguanas. Presenting tonight's entertainment, Mr. Funny Man Dan! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, it's a classic move. Woo, go ahead, right, right, standing by. Right on cue, sir. What is going on? What are you doing here? Warming up our voices. And what are Dan and Nathan doing on stage? Uh, that's a famous card in the watermelon trick, sir. Oh! What? Shouldn't you be up there? Serving our guests? Well, that's what we're doing. Well, I've already booked the entertainment. You're meant to be serving. But we are. We're entertaining. That's our service. I think someone got the wrong end of a very long stick here. I was asking you to serve our guests. Huh. Not entertain them. But Dan's really funny and Jackie and I have got a great song and, and Nathan, he's really good at... Oh! That. And Dave's organised everything, so it's going to be... Spectacular! Do you know what should be even more spectacular? If you did what I asked you to do. Look around. What's happening here? While you've been focusing on your own thing, you're ignoring the reason I wanted you to help. Serve the food and drinks. Look after the people. Or are you too important to do that? There's a very famous quote from a man you may have heard of. Be the servant of all. That man was Jesus. And he wasn't afraid to get his hands dirty, no matter what the job. I was hoping you'd serve our guests, not entertain them. They are hungry out there, and everyone's got an empty glass. Well, what are you waiting for? Uh, okay, okay, I'm on it. Uh, stand by. Um, uh, Jackie, you go and get the canapes and uh, circulate with them. Becky, you go and get the fruit platters with the um, little umbrellas. Go, 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 go. Done. Whew. Um, I'm going to take care of the orange juice. Uh, what about Dan and Nathan? Well, looks like Dan is running out of cards, so it should be finished soon. A very exclusive calcium vanilla flavoured yoghurt. Um, peanut butter sandwich? And? Chocolate frog? And? Lollipop. Now we're talking. Swaps. Hey, um, uh, well, I learned a very interesting fact in our health class this morning. Really? We talked about the leading cause of dry skin in boys aged under 12. Wow. What is the leading cause of dry skin for boys under the age of 12? Towels. So you know how we should all be willing to serve God? Yes, sure, everybody knows you should be willing to serve God. It's very important. Well, if you're willing to serve God, are you interested in volunteering in a community cleanup program? Sure, I would be interested in volunteering in a community cleanup program. Great. My house is part of the community. See you there at eight. Foiled again by your superior intellect, Jeremy. <sighs> My room's a mess. One for you, ma'am, and you. one for you. So, gang, how did we do? I genuinely didn't think it was this much fun. I met some really lovely people while serving. Me too. I met this one lady who told me her whole life story and how she got involved in Big HQ. Pretty amazing. Yes, once you get what you want out of the way, serving others can be very rewarding. In 1 Corinthians 12, Paul speaks about the different gifts in the body of Christ. And he even mentions the gift of helping. Helping is a gift? Yes, a gift that anyone can give. You will help me tonight. You played your part to make this the best thank you party we've ever had. 
So thank you guys, thanks for your service. Well, before you go, Jackie, girls' toilets, uh, Becky washing up, uh, Dan, you better clean up the watermelon before you take Nathan to the hospital. Yeah. And Dave, what about you? Hmm, <laughs> boys' toilets. Tell you what, why don't I help out as well? Where's the broom? Uzziah was a very popular king. He began his reign when he was just 16 years old. He strengthened the nation so that the people felt very secure and very comfortable during his reign. But when King Uzziah had died, the people weren't sure what was going to happen. They were nervous and worried about their future. But during that year, a man named Isaiah had a dream. Well, it wasn't exactly a dream, but more of a vision of God. Listen to how he describes what happened in his vision. I saw him, the Lord God Almighty, high and exalted. He was sitting on a throne and the train of his magnificent robe filled the whole temple. Above the Lord were two seraphim angels. They had three pairs of wings, six in total. Two of them covered their faces, two covered their feet, and the other two they used to fly with. They spoke loudly, singing the praises of God, saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. At the sound of their very voices, the doorposts shook. Such was the sound, and the temple was filled with smoke. How terrible it is for me, I cried out. I'm about to be destroyed. My mouth speaks sinful words, and I live among people who speak sinful words. Now I have seen the king with my own eyes. He is the Lord who rules over all. Then one of the angels flew to me with a hot coal in his hand. He had taken it with tongs from the altar. With the coal, he touched my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin is atoned for. I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. Isaiah now had the confidence to agree with God and do what he was being asked to do. It was then that God gave him instructions for the people and the job he was to do in the nation. Put yourself in Isaiah's place. Close your eyes and imagine seeing all of those incredible things. The temple, the Lord God on his throne, the angels, the temple shaking to the words, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Wouldn't you be moved? Maybe a little scared, but with a holy fear of the amazingness that comes from seeing God. God chose Isaiah just as he was, imperfect, but willing. Have you ever had the opportunity to say, here I am, send me to God? You can, you know. God can use you just as you are. It doesn't matter what your age is, how good you are at school, or at reading, or at sport, or art, or drama. These things don't really matter, because with God, you can do all things. All the Lord needs from you is empty hands and a clean heart. All God needs is for you to say, here I am, send me. That was so much fun. Before you go, we want to ask you a question. Is Jesus your best friend? The Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We all have things that we've done and things in our hearts that aren't God's best for us, and that's called sin. Yeah, sin separates us from God. But the good news is, is that God loved you so much that He sent His one and only Son, Jesus. That's right, and Jesus was God's Son. He came to earth, lived a perfect life, and then died on the cross and took all of our sin. But He didn't stay in the grave. Jesus rose from the grave, defeating death and sin forever. And the Bible says that if we say with our mouth and believe in our hearts that Jesus Christ is God's Son and that God raised Him from the grave, that we will be saved. We'll be a Christian, a child of God. And if you've never prayed that prayer, we would love to invite you and lead you in that prayer today. It's a decision that you make in your heart. So it doesn't matter where you are. You can pray this in your heart to Jesus today. Dear Jesus, thank you that you love me. 
thank you that you died on the cross for me and you rose again. Forgive me of all my sins, of all the things I've done wrong. I make a choice today to follow you, Jesus. I want to be a Christian, a child of God, for all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. That's amazing. That is literally the best decision that you can make. In the Bible, it says that there's a party that goes on in heaven every time <laughs> someone makes that decision. So we're so excited for you, and we just really want to hear from you. If you made that decision, we really want to hear from you. So tell your parents that you made that decision, and to email us at kids at colonialchurch.com. Dot life and we'll send you a little something special we have a little gift that we'd like to give you guys and we're just so excited you'd make that decision yeah and never forget colonial kids that god designed you with a purpose that jesus is your best friend and there's no junior holy spirit god loves you so much and so do we we'll see you soon